So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal ornament pieces for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, the Titan and Hunters are already available. They're right here. And if you want to look at the seasonal ornament uh, review video and the shaders, they're both right here as well. So you can check them out, see how they shader. And you also get, get to see my personal thoughts about the actual armor itself. But for this video, we're going to be looking at the individual pieces for the Warlocks. So we're going to be looking at all of the pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and the class item. I decided to use both of these just because a, I actually like the class item quite a bit and the helmet, I actually don't like that much. So for this one, I just decided to go with spiky for the thing because the helmet has some spiky bits in the back and the class item also has, not spiky, but it's like protruding bits. And that's kind of like the theme I went with. So for that, I ended up going for a dendrite shimmer just because uh, that's kind of like on the nose when it comes to pointy bits. And then for the exotic, we're going to be using Grasp of the Void ornament for the Controverse Hold. I think this just looks really, really cool. And it adds to the glow of the of the look because the arms actually have glows with it, like between the fingers. And then the Dendrite Shimmer has color as well, or specifically the glow. For the boots, Iron Foreigner is what I ended up using, but you could really use anything that has a pointy bit to it. I just think this looks really cool because of the texture on the actual like knee, not knee, but knee below shin. Uh, I think all of that looks really cool. And then the cloth on the pants looks really cool as well. And then for the class item again, like I said, we're using the seasonal ornament. I think this all looks really, really cool. And the, even the cool, and the cooler part I think is the fact that we're using, we're using air. And the cooler part is the fact that we're using Argent Territorn, which they really did fuck up. But thankfully, we're using a lot of pieces that don't integrate that red because I think the red just throws all of the color off. And this is like for me how Argent Territorn should be just because it's such a good silver and it really just uh, makes every armor color into that silver. But unfortunately, like I said, Argent Territorn was changed. So now some of the armor pieces will have a really tint, like a really gross tint of red, which is really annoying. As for the next set, this is going to be a L for me, probably just because I'm now that I really, really look at it, I am really tempted to just go back into the drawing board and see what I can do. But I do think my failures should be shown just because, again, I'm not perfect. And I've seen some people really appreciate the fact that I show my failures as well. But I do like where my head was going for a few pieces. So for this one, we're using the Hateful Wish ornament for the Skull of Dire Ahamkara with the Corrupting Echo Robes. I think these two pair really, really well together and they're probably my favorite pieces to pair. And then the Seasonal Gloves, which I I like it, but I also don't like the arms. I This was more of a like, I need to have the gloves just because I want to have all of the pieces of the armor in a set. And if I'm being quite honest, I should have just combined the the helmet with the arms because I do think those two are the weakest portions of the sets or of the set but I ended up going with the arms just being individual and again I kind of do regret it but at the same time again I like where my head is going for the boots we're using the boots of dead detestation I think these boots can look really really cool with this set I just need to find a shader that combines with that red that being said I do like the fact that the gems are red so it kind of does hold that but you lose a lot of that cool like armor color and texture that the horizon blush gives to actual armor pieces. So that's why I'm like, I like the boots of devastation, but I also I don't like it because you don't get that cool, like brown, like fucked up color for the bond. Ciceratops bond is what we're using. I think that's really cool. Again, I just think I, I honestly, I think it's just the shader. I think it's just the fact that I chose the shader poorly. Don't get me wrong, Horizon Blush is such a dope color, but there's a lot of problems with this shader. First and foremost, I should have chosen a shader that turns off the glow on the actual arms. I think that's a big problem. And then I should have chosen a shader that either I either looks good with Boots of Devastation or switch that color out to make it better. And then the Ciceratops Bond, the only problem with that is the spikes actually take the off color of most shaders. So there's just so many, it's mostly just a shader problem at this point, because if the boots of devastation didn't take a, like cloth or leather armor, but it took like armor color, then I think I would have much preferred that or specifically plate armor is what I'm talking about. If it took plate armor and had that cool brown, like, like distressed brown color, I think this would be a no brainer. I think this would look super, super cool, 
but we don't live in that world again i think it's just a shaders situation at this point as for the next one we're going to be using esther sight verse and this one is not a loss i do think one piece is just kind of misplaced i guess you would say so for the helmet again like i said astro sight versus the exotic we're using just because i think it looks really really cool with the seasonal ornament chest piece i think it looks amazing with it and then the elect of the empty gloves i think was the poor choice just because and this is probably just a nitpick uh most people are gonna be like what's the problem it looks cool my problem is the fact that the elect of the empty gloves uh Specifically, the color of that purple is not the same as the color of the purple of the helmet and the chest piece, uh, specifically for Welded Brass. Welded Brass has such a deep purple, like a specific blue purple, which is why I like it so much. And I think I should have gone back and tried to find either a better glove that has like a glow so that way it can have some glow in there or just no, no glow at all because I do think this, this set has enough glow for all of it. So that's pretty pretty much my nitpick about it but i still think it looks cool it's just again it's more of a like for people who are going to notice all oh, those colors those purples don't don't match it's like i get you i should have changed that for the boots the goddess boots is what i'm using just because i like the texture of the boots and i think that's what i really needed for this just some texture on the boot that being said um yeah if if i had like a better organic boot I think it would have been better because I was thinking about combining this with the Firefly boots, but those look just stupid in my opinion. I don't like how they look, so that's why I didn't use them. And anything Hive related or Hive themed just would have looked weird on this, so that's why I didn't choose that. So I just decided I'm just going to get something that has a lot of textures to it, so that way it kind of looks like weird with the chest piece because the chest piece also has a lot of textures, and I just kind of wanted to go with that theme. And then for the bond, I decided to go with no bond. So that's why we're using ancestral bond with chit and slate because I didn't want to bond on this. I just wanted just this again. I should I just I should just switch out the arms for something else. But other than that, I think this looks really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the boots, which I think is the best piece from this set. That being said, I think they, these boots share the same problem with the Titans, which is all of the leg is super stylized in that specific armor style and then when you get to the actual feet it's just fucking boots which is i personally think that's lazy i think we should have gotten like some i don't know man like some just a specific like pointy boot or like maybe a mermaid feet or something like or mermaid inspired or whatever animal they were inspired by like i just I think it's just lazy to just put boots at the end of the of the legs just because everything else is so stylized and then when you get to the feet you're just like oh that's right fucking laziness and it's really annoying because it this could have looked super duper cool um yeah that's my only gripe about it for the helmet we're gonna be using mouth of ur this one i'm gonna be real with you guys i do reuse this set for the taken king sets and I, I think it's way better in that video just because, well, you guys will see when I'm, when I, I'm done with that video, but it's just the fact that there's so many problems with this. First and foremost, Mouth of Ur, you'll notice that the actual color of the plate armor is white, like a bone white. And then when you get to the uh, vestment of the Taken King, you'll see that there's no white in there. I mean, there is white in there, but the fact that the vestment of the Taken King, um, specifically the Taken King armor has a glow over the armor set so that's really aggravating because you get situations like this where i'm trying to combine the necrotic grips with the corrupting echo bond because those two give off a really good green and then lucid is a perfect color for that because it gives that color for the glow but unfortunately vestment of taken king just kind of ruins the whole thing because now you you have a white helmet with a green and white chest piece and then everything else is white and it's just very aggravating so this is more of a hate letter i guess you would say to the vestment of the taken king or specifically just the taken king set because i'm just really aggravated with the fact that they chose to have that glow for all of the armor i would have just preferred if it was just on the cloth armor and then the plate armor just takes regular color because then it's just easier to shader i know some people are going to be like well that just seems like a lazy thing you should have gone in and find a better shader for that um i just that shouldn't be on me that should be on the actual armor like the armor should just shader great already i don't understand why there should be a glow on top of the armor it just makes it more aggravating and it makes me have to work harder just to make this look good so that's pretty much it i like what i made with this 
but it's mostly the corrupting uh echo bond with the necrotic grip i've done this look a few times but i do think i've perfected it in the best one of the take or in the taken king sets for the warlock so be looking out for that that should be coming out this week as well just because i'm going to be pushing out a lot of these videos so that way i can get started on some other content that i've been wanting to do for a while so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later